Easter is on its way with all its sugar and chocolate and all those yummy things. I was thinking there's so much of it in Easter baskets and Easter egg hunts and I was trying to think of some maybe alternative ideas uh, for my kids. So I have a bunch of these plastic eggs and you can find these anywhere and they don't cost very much. A bag you can get it at the dollar store. So instead of putting candy and sweets in these like I have done in the past, I thought I could put something in there that will maybe tickle their creativity, their imagination, and they will have lots more fun than just more chocolate in there. And plus, it doesn't melt. That is Play-Doh. You can get regular cans of Play-Doh just about anywhere too, and it doesn't cost much. You can find these, each can or cup, for 88 cents, Walmart. And then there's no name brands of the stuff that you can get at like a dollar store. And I got these, four of them for a dollar, so that ends up being 25 cents for one of these cups. What you can do is with just one can or one cup, you could fill probably four, maybe five of these plastic eggs. So that ends up being what per egg? Less than eight cents. So you just put a little water in the egg and the egg will keep it soft. And as they find the Easter eggs, they can collect the Play-Doh and then you just have the can ready and they can put it back in there. So if this ends up being less than eight cents per egg, that's a lot less than um, the little mini candy bars that I've been putting in these eggs. <laughs> so it's a good deal, plus it will last longer. And like I said before, it's a creative thing for the kids to have something to play with and actually use their imagination. Here's another egg that I already put some Play-Doh in, some pink. That's another twist to this idea is inside the Play-Doh, if you want to get even more creative, you could hide um, a little toy in there inside the Play-Doh, inside the egg. This is a little Lala Loopsy dog and anything that's plastic, the Play-Doh doesn't stick to it. So it comes out of that Play-Doh nice and clean. Here's some other ideas. These are little Shopkins, if you've heard of those, they are small and you could get a set of them and put those inside and they all fit really quite nicely inside the egg, inside the Play-Doh. So that would be a lot of fun. The one thing I didn't know if it would fit, I'll have to try it. All the Shopkins will fit inside a plastic egg. This pony fits inside the plastic egg, but I don't know if the little pony, these little miniature My Pretty Ponies, I don't know if it will fit in the Play-Doh, in the egg, so this is an experiment. I don't know how it will turn out. Okay. That fits too. And then just look how easy the Play-Doh comes off. And there's their toy. So anything that's plastic, you don't want to obviously put anything inside your Play-Doh egg that is cloth, because that will stick, or paper, but plastic works really good. So that's a fun idea. Also, Play-Doh comes in every color practically that you can imagine, so you can get some really pretty Easter colors. I even found one that is called Peach, and I think it looks more like bubblegum. But what a fun pastel color that is for Easter. And there's the... See, it looks like bubblegum, <laughs> but lots of fun 
colors light they have light purple dark purple turquoise blue dark blue so that makes it a lot of fun to have that Easter color variety after your kids play with their play-doh as you know sometimes the colors get mixed up and I save those scrap pieces of mixed up colors and keep them in just a baggie or something and look how pretty that can be as an Easter egg, just the scraps of mixed up Play-Doh. So there's another idea. Another thing I want to do is let you know what I've been doing lately. I've created a new YouTube channel. And just to let you know, I am planning on producing more craft and crochet type videos on this Epic Abundance channel. But now about this new channel. Drum roll please. Yeah, that was a drum. The new channel is directed towards children, such as your kids, your grandkids, nieces, and nephews. The videos are fun and entertaining, along with sparking the imagination and creativity of the kids that watch them. The new channel is called Creation Station. At Creation Station, there is a video on how to make a Triceratops dinosaur out of Play-Doh with some small toys there to help. Another video shows how to make a Play-Doh Brontosaurus dinosaur for Batman and Robin. Another video shows how to make a simple flat dinosaur. Then there's a video on how to create butterflies and having fun with the butterflies we've made and a video on making some snails and how the snail lets the toys ride on it. And there's another snail that lets the toys ride in their snail shale. This video shows how to make Play-Doh tennis shoes that match the little tennis shoes Lala Loopsie is wearing. Here's one on how to make an Easter bunny. And there are a couple of videos on making a Play-Doh cape for Disney's Anna from Frozen. And we also make Play-Doh boots for Elsa. And another video on how to make Olaf. It's just so wonderful to have good things for our kids to watch. And so far, kids have loved these videos. They love it when my voice sometimes changes in the videos. And they love seeing how their own toys can play with things that they have created with their own hands. And they love watching brand new toys get opened up and played with. I hope the kids in your life love Creation Station 2. Um, the link to the videos is in the description box below. Remember to subscribe to Creation Station so the kids can see the very latest videos. Thanks!